There is no level of carcinogen that is safe. These are carcinogens, so they're not going to be an immediate impact. You're not going to see fish kills. You're going to see hot spots for cancer, whether that's in wildlife or if it ends up in people, that's the bigger question. And I don't think you're not going to see the, that answer right away. All right, that's our Rich McHugh's reporting on a new test results showing carcinogens in the creeks and potential water supply of East Palestine. Remember, the EPA says the water is safe and the railroad responsible for dumping the one million gallons of cancer-causing chemicals says, don't worry. Here's a statement from Norfolk Southern. Many residents are worried about what they will do if health impacts related to the derailment are discovered years from now. To date, environmental monitoring continues to show the air and drinking water are safe. We have heard the community's interest in programs to protect drinking water over the long term. We are prepared to work with stakeholders towards that goal as well. The state of Ohio doesn't buy that promise. They just filed a suit against the railroad. Courtney Miller will be with us in a minute, East Palestine resident. We start with Rich McHugh and his reporting there from East Palestine. All right, Rich, we've got one of these streams behind you that it used to be if you scrape the bottom of it, you'd get that weird filmy yep. chemical thing coming up. Is that still the case? It actually is still the case, not as pronounced as it was that. That was in mid-February when I did that, but it's still happening to a lesser degree. And I asked him about it and he said, look, those, those chemicals that are coming up, the, the independent consultant that I met with, those chemicals that are coming up, those are not the carcinogens. Those are uh, more like oil and whatnot that are in the, bo that are in, in the bottom of the creek. Uh, it's the other chemicals that are more concerning. All right, so the chemicals that you, you guys found uh, or that his testing found, do we have levels of how much there were of these chemicals? And can we trace these chemicals back to the Norfolk Southern derailment? He absolutely does have levels. Uh, what they are, I don't know them specifically, but he has them published on, on, his, uh, on, his, on his blog site. Um, and he says, look, he believes by where he found them in these different creeks that they are from uh, the, 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 the controlled release of these chemicals because of like they went up in the sky and then because of the drainage from the land in, in various areas around here. And so he believes that they're absolutely from that. Um, he says the reason he believes that they're not in the EPA report, published reports, is that, look, they're simply not looking hard enough. He says, these chemicals, these carcinogens are here. Look at my data. We actually asked the EPA, and they just responded before Eric tonight, and they said, look, we can't comment on this specific report, but we stand, we, we use federally accepted protocols to, to, for our samples. We stand by our report, their reporting. So, well, couldn't, which he couldn't says, conceivably both they're, they're be true? Simply not looking hard enough, right? But couldn't couldn't both things be true that the, the the water that comes out of the tap right now is safe, and the water in the stream behind you has carcinogens in it, and eventually the water behind you with carcinogens is going to eventually flow in to the tap water. It just hasn't happened yet. I think that's absolutely right. They, they could be, yes. It's very possible that the water here in town is safe to drink. And it's also very possible that he's right and that there are carcinogens in these creeks. But he's saying, look, for the, the residents around here, like, this is a long-term thing. And you don't want to, you don't want to play risk with this. Like, this is, they could be exposed to carcinogens. And these are, these are five, ten-year things that could end up in cancer clusters. So his point is, look, why isn't the EPA, like, his data is, is, he tested this. Why isn't the EPA finding this stuff? They're simply not looking hard enough. Yeah, or they're not looking in the creeks and the like. Uh, there's two sides to this, right? There, there's the initial safety side to it and whether or not people should even be living in East Palestine. We've done a lot of reporting on that. The other side of this is holding Norfolk Southern responsible. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.